Hello everyone and welcome back to the Age of Empires Definitive Campaign. I'm Don Hayes and this is the Voices of Babylon. For centuries Babylon was the envy of the world. Her hanging gardens and eminent ziggurats inspired legends that echoed throughout the ages. Her greatest king Hammurabi gave the world its first law code. Lead this majestic city from its remarkable rise to its staggering fall and restore it once again to greatness. The small city-state of Babylon is growing under the energetic leadership of its new king, Hammurabi. You have been sent down river to bring some enclaves of Sumerians and Akkadians into the fold. Use your powers of persuasion when you can, but do not hesitate to resort to war if they prove to be resistant. Alrighty folks, this is a crazy difficult first scenario. Essentially we've got to convert or destroy the Sumerians and Akkadians. Let's begin. Alright, aptly named the Holy Man, we need to convert the Akkadians. The Sumerians are the big bad in this mission. They are insanely powerful. Um, we cannot convert them early on because they have four um, Axemen who will hunt you down and kill you. So we have to start with the Akkadians and we have to build up an economy ridiculously fast. We also want to try and build a wall here and sentry towers to protect. That's kind of the goal. Um, but we've got it, we're on a timer. We've got 15 minutes before the enemy starts launching their attacks against us. So we need to be quick. Quick and efficient. And even then there's no guarantees of success. It is a very, very hard mission. First things first, we need to build a town center. Wow, he's really not converting. Town centre here. So we want to be close to the trees and close to the foraging patch. guy capture is going to build me a house worthy of Mordor. Housing eco over here. Mostly about food to start things off we need to get our eco rocking and rolling. I'm going to put one on wood cutting. We need to uh, build the next guy before we convert. Second house. Not concerned about the barracks. They're not going to have any resources to build them anyway. Any club men, I mean. The ones doing the woodcutting are the easiest to convert because there's nowhere for them to go. Start focusing on wood eco now. And then we need to focus really heavily on aging up. This guy, however. Pull him over here. Build a storage pit. We'll ignore red. Red is our problem. Wow, he is not converting. Rude. I shall say. Never mind.
actually want you to do stone. Eventually these guys are going to resign. Which also triggers the enemy. I, don't, I think that the enemy is triggered by time more than anything, but... There's definitely a timing element, I suspect, to this. So the first scout the enemy sends, we want to try and capture him, hopefully, or we'll convert. We do definitely need to hit our age up. In fact, I'm actually going to halt villager production at this point. Now he's resigned. Let's age up. Stone as well. Okay. Time's ticking. We need to build a wall so quickly as soon as it's available to us. Grab all the boys at this point. It's such a close timing. It might be alright. side of that please and thank you other side other side damn it okay, that's awesome perfect now we can build watchtowers another thing we need to build now is archery ranges Perfect. No damaged eco, really. That was about as good as that was ever going to get. We also want to put a couple more people on stone. I'm actually going to build a marketplace first, then I'm going to switch into Farm Eco. One Archer Armour to start. These archers are what we're going to be making to start things off. Definitely want to get the wood cutting upgrade as soon as it's available. Food eco is in shambles at the moment, but it will get better. Don't, don't get back. Don't. That, perfect. Time to sort out food once and for all. Okay, now we can relax a little. 
Knowing that all of our defences are up in time. Can farm in peace, gather gold, gather all the bits we need. The enemy can't get to our base. Got a sturdy defence here. Nice and walled off. When the chariots come, we can start converting them too. Off building houses. Transition into more gold and um, wood eco. It's all the houses I need. Welcome to the dark side, my friend. Don't take any chances with these guys. Upgrades. Aim for the next upgrade or age up as well. To later date. Ow! Wait, can you not heal over a wall? Really? Okay. I mean, that's that seems like an odd choice. All right, we're pretty protected. There's no way they're going to get into our lands. I'll destroy the walls when I'm ready to attack them. You can build farm. Gold. At this point, I'm going to build some stables. Ooh, Holy Man's nearly dead. Let's keep him alive. He doesn't need to die. To be fair, at this point, it doesn't really matter, even if he does. He has done his job and then some. I'm going to build stables. The economy is beautiful. Don't need really more stone at this point, to be honest. In fact, I'll transition off stone entirely. It's just no longer a requirement. Build stables. To hit the next age. Damn priests. 
They are annoying. Gold we need. There is gold down here, I think. We'll fix this issue once we uh, get our own chariot archers and upgrades. We run out of gold, there's some down here. Which I'm gonna build more stables, because it's all gonna transition to a stable army now. <laughs> Pun intended, I suppose. Our rules are not really in danger, and even if they are, by the time they actually break through, I'll have a epic army waiting for them. Gold actually at this point. Who's going to be my biggest problem? Archers. The opposite berries might be worth grabbing as well, actually.
I want to compare the composite bows to uh, chariot archers. More health. Basically, the chariot archers just. Oh, they don't do as much damage. I only got the same range. Okay, so the composite dudes are actually pretty good. A lot cheaper as well. Okay, cool. Turn to me, create a massive army. push out and end this mission. Need troops we don't need anymore, like Axemen. so annoying. Should lead us to a GG, hopefully. Priest near the bugger. Noise rebuild the wall if we need to, but their eco we need to take care of. Oh, 
Because that farms and shiz. What a mission. Just double check what these things require. Uh, food, uh, okay. So they're actually very, very cheap. It's just food and wood. Yeah, that's, they're just going to create them forever. We need to take care of that farm eco, wherever that be. Days. Let's take care of these villagers. things. because they decided to go for... Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I don't know, we shouldn't be out of gold. What a bloody mission. <laughs> this is turned out to be... Woof. Ah, and they're just pushing through, I think, Mark Bruce. Relentless pressure on hardest difficulty. Woof. Where's that gold eco? I'm curious. Man, this feels like it's not working. <laughs> We'll be building villages. They're going to run out of stuff eventually. There's no way they can keep this up indefinitely. I think economy, killing the economy is the way to go. The thing is, these units aren't particularly great at destroying um, buildings. They are great at killing units, so... Man, how much eco have they got? Another town center over there. Wow. Okay, then. I 
How's your economy looking home? Yeah, fine. The unit that would benefit me, I wonder. Gold claimed, I wonder. But they are Ah. So is there any other gold down here? No. So they must be out of gold then. Looks like they're slowing up a little bit now, production wise. Woof, what a mission though. Yeah, their their foot's off the gas now, isn't it, well and truly? Damn priests. I think priests are my least favourite unit in this game. So annoying to deal with. I know this mission is called the Holy Man, so I guess it. I should have uh, mentally prepared myself for that, but. God damn. Priests are the worst. Actually starting to run through foods. Is that a bad rally? Is there any way that we can change... Does that mean meme can a, a move villagers? Christ, it's so annoying that you have to manually click on them. Oh, it does look like it does work if you wait move now. Oh! Okay, that's a huge win. If we can aim move villagers just by setting them to enemy, that's huge. Knowing that you probably have to do that on every mission, but okay, that's good to know. That could just be a game changer. Yeah, 
Right, now we're killing all the bills. That's more like it. Thank you, Chief. Can we build siege weapons? I'm just curious. Okay, I might need to do something like that. <laughs> this is this is not working. Let's get rid of this um temple. It's really gets on my nerves. I'm just deal with priests every five seconds. Out of it. Okay, at least they're hunting the villagers now, that's good. Okay, setting to enemy, best thing I've ever done in this game. Let's just kill this dude. Down this goddamn temple. I'm gonna have two T control groups now. Have to pull out the big guns to take out this guy. <laughs> what a mission! Now they're starved for resources, they're, they're completely out now, for the most part, I think. They're not producing hardly any units. Oh, we whittled them down, boys. Jesus. The only upgrades I didn't get. Oh, I don't really use infantry, but as well. Let's see what I can get from the academy as well. Oh, actually, I would. Oh boy. Okay, well, this this has to win then, this push, because I am out of the word, boys. I lose my wood eco or something. That base is in ruins now, so... That global blue is pretty, pretty, pretty big, huh? <laughs> okay, the fact that we can A move now and... Okay, that's such a big win. You have managed to capture both the CAD and Sumer re-establishing a great part of Sargon's old empire. With Babylonian rule extended to the other city-states, you can bring Hammurabi's law code to them and ensure further peace and stability in the empire. However, there is no time to revel in your success. The people in the Zagros Mountains are restless and threaten the peace. Hammurabi has called upon your services once again to deal with them. What a mission. Oh my god, and that's just the first mission of this campaign? Are you kidding? <laughs> what? Oh man, I remember Age of Empires being hard, but god damn, <laughs> that was insane. Wow. Okay, the, the whole um, being able to auto attack villagers now, just by changing their status to enemy, that is a game changer. I did not know that was a thing until right this, like, you're witnessing me experience and evolve people um 
<laughs> that's insane. It's been winding me up this entire series, like the uh, like the Glory of Greece campaign as well. The fact that we can't auto target villagers and you have to singly like individually target. Wow, I can't believe that. It's just a simple thing of just going to diplomacy, set them to enemy, and then when you aim move it targets the vills. Okay, game changer. Alrighty, folks, that'll write about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.